What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with NBA legends and players share their favorite Michael Jordan moments. I can't wait to hear what these players and legends have to say before we do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, read notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You ain't subscribed to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Pew in, I'll talk back. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. At the end of every Michael Jordan video I made, I asked you where your favorite Michael Jordan moment is. But this time, I want to show you some NBA legends and players who have shared their favorite Michael Jordan moments. Mm. And comment down below if you forgot any of them. Enjoy the video, man. Being in the NBA for 22 years, I can proudly say I got the opportunity to play against Michael Jordan. Vince Carter, Michael up on him. Vince, a leader, is good. Right. Michael Jordan is just starting to heat up. And it was just obviously nothing short of than amazing and an opportunity that a lot of players in today's game can't say. You know, his impact on the game, his impact on players today and, and the players of the past is, is well documented. My story about MJ goes back to All-Star in Atlanta. I was a leading vote getter and I gave my starting position to MJ, which he declined multiple times throughout the day. So we go on and, and he, he accepts the starting position. It will be Michael starting in place of Vince Carter. He goes on and hits his historic fadeaway. And Michael has the ball. Again guarded by Sean Marion. The fadeaway. That's crazy. That, that was literally such a tough shot, bro. Like lick because that the defense was great. Like he had to he had to arc that thing up high. But it was just perfect. Perfect. Uh, and a perfect Michael Jordan moment, too. And shout out to Vince Carter for giving up his starting spot, man. Uh, respect for that. I love it. Sean Marion, the fadeaway. Yes! Anytime that All Star game is played on TV or talked about, that memory sticks to me because it was just historic in my mind, historic for all the fans yeah. who watching to see MJ do his thing one more time in an All Star game. Now, this is the greatest shot I see. He came down the right side, took off. David Robinson took off. And he said, okay, I'm going to sit here in the air. <laughs> I swear to God. I know David Robinson is going to go down. <laughs> so David Robinson went to the ground. He 360, tongue moving, <laughs> and dunked it. In a 360 practice game. Oh in a practice Lord. game. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And I was just stunned, and all of us were stunned to see him hang in the air that long and 360. Michael Jordan is so incredible. Yeah, yeah his hang time was different, bro. MJ's hang time, was, it, it, he defied the laws of gravity. We'll just say that. He defied the laws of gravity. Steve, Michael Jordan is so incredible. I can't front. My favorite Michael Jordan moment as a native Detroiter, Bad Boys fan, was actually when we were eliminating him from the playoffs, getting to the finals, <laughs> and winning the championship. His watershed moment, though, is when they finally got past the Detroit Pistons, to the point where we left the floor and didn't shake their hands. We always talk about rivalries in sports. This embodied it. Yeah, and indeed. as a Detroiter, I was proud that my Pistons had that pride. Like most people, <laughs> my favorite MJ moment could be any of his amazing moments in the Chicago Bulls or as a North Carolina player. But to me, the, the favorite was the first time I played in a game um, with them against them. It was in a pickup game in Chapel Hill in 1982-83. And I'd certainly heard people that needed the term relentless, but I'd never really seen it. And, and you saw it with Jordan, and you combined it, a transformational talent with that sort of relentless that, that really only have a few players God. Up, and you've got the best player that's ever lived. God. Michael with a dribble against Rivers. Michael down the lane, oh. a fake, hangs, fires, scores! Beautiful. Well, I have too many memorable moments about Michael Jordan. None of them are good for me. 
<laughs> I said, too many memorable moments and none of them are good for me. <laughs> well, I have too many memorable moments about Michael Jordan. None of them are good for me. <laughs> Stockton, inside of Carbono, they double it. Jordan knocks it's it away from him. Jordan's got it. Favorite, I, I, I don't remember seeing many favorite things in person. I don't have a favorite Jordan moment, but I have a, a Jordan moment that I'm like very very tired of uh, people coming up to me and giving me a hard time about it. There's Jordan for three! Yes! <laughs> Did you see that one? Michael indicating he can't believe it. He feels it. There's yeah. nothing else he can say other than the man steals it and lets us know. Everybody asks me all the time, why'd you let Jordan bust you like that? What was I supposed to do? I had a head in the face. Day. And what that guy, you could do. I think made me a better defensive player. Had Every to. guy out there think they know how to play defense, but when you go against a guy like that, who can chew you up at any time of the game, yeah, you don't know how to play defense. His offensive I mean, skills. I say that stuff all the time, bro. I'll be like, bro, there's just there's certain players that are just unguardable. Like there's there's certain no matter how great your defense is. There's certain players in the NBA that just can't be guarded. Just can't. You do have the game plan as a team for that player. Like, we're going to trap right here. We're going to send multiple bodies at him. We've got to make him give up the ball. It's the only way we beat him. We've got to make somebody else beat us. Because you, you just can't guard that. Player. Time of the game, you don't want to play defense. His offensive skills were just unbelievable. You find yourself... Watching them instead of guarding them a lot of times. Oh, yeah! Showtime what a pass, for the boys! Man. My first year joining the team, we played him um, down in Chicago. This when the first year he came back. He stole the ball and got on the fast break. And I forgot, you know, I was on the sideline, so I jumped up <laughs> off the bench. You know, I was just like, yeah! Oh, no, I'm going to jump in that. I hope they don't see this. And the ball deflected by Jordan. Watch out. One bounce dribble now to Jordan. Michael in from the left side, jammed it right over Rollins. Uh, what a power dunk right nice. through the seven footer, Tree Rollins. And I remember being right there in the small living room, sitting on the floor, my socks off, watching him play. And the guy was on him, and he fakes over his head like he was going to pass it. The guy slips and falls. And Mike goes to the lane and dunks it. And one of his <laughs> teammates is behind him, pointing at the other guy. And, uh, <laughs> I, just, I just remember that. That's just one of my favorite, favorite moments of Michael. He's playing against the New York Knicks in the playoffs, and I think he must have uh, drove baseline. He faked one way against Charles Oakley. Oh, yeah. And he spent back the other way, and he drove to the Patrick. lane and went up for a dunk, and he dunked right over Patrick Ewing and yeah. he stared at him. I think that was one of my most memorable Michael Jordan moments. Jordan trying to shake off. Amazing fake. Oh, what a move by Jordan. Amazing fake. Amazing dunk. is one of the moves of the season. Nasty. First oh time he entered the league. That was my favorite moment. Just the impact that he had on the league. Just coming into the league. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. Perhaps you can turn that Bulls thing around. What do you think? Hopefully uh, I can go in and contribute and maybe turn it around. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to that. The uh, emotional part is when he won. Uh, the title, and he was holding the trophy, and all the emotions came out. Yeah. Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. Just That's the, the long path to get in there, man. The path filled with with failure, of course. Uh, but he, his drive never stopped. Uh, but he kept pushing. He kept getting better. He kept getting better. He kept getting stronger. And he just kept pushing himself. Uh, and then uh, he did – I feel like he definitely became more of a team player. Uh, and then he also held his teammates accountable to a certain standard. And I absolutely love that. So to, just to see all the hard work you put in, all the years of not being able to get there, of scratching and clawing and climbing your way there, and then to win it, I can only imagine that feeling, man. Have won their first ever NBA championship. Just to see that. Yeah, it's okay. Men can cry when uh, they've done something 
that they put their heart into and not worry about how people are going to perceive them. So the last shot of his career, you know, and a little, little crossover, a little pat on the butt and a jump shot. Stockton against Kerr, into Malone, low left. Malone had it chopped away by Jordan, stolen by Jordan. 19 seconds, no timeouts for the Bulls as they work into the front court. All right, it's win or lose, game six for the Bulls. The, the last shot he shot ever, you know, didn't even hit no rim, and it won the game for him. Big shot, yeah. the guy falling down, not being able to get to him. 17 seconds from game seven or from championship number six. Jordan, open, Chicago with the lead. Oh, buddy. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship in the last eight years. Oh, my God, that was beautiful. What a feeling. Leaving the game on top. Uh, I think that's a nice way to be remembered. Not too many. They must have asked some of these players before he played for Washington. Uh, yeah, they must have talked to some of these players before he played in Washington. Leaving the game on top. Uh, I think that's a nice way to be remembered. Not too many guys can end their career making a shot and end their career winning a championship. So if you had to end it any way, that was the perfect way to end it. What's your favorite MJ moment, man? Hmm. I would say when he came to play for the Wizards. I mean, I know all the championships and all that stuff. I mean, never, never, never disrespect or discredit those. Yeah. But for me personally, when he decided to come play in my hometown, I just mm. felt so inspired. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you hear about MJ all the way up until that point, and it seems like he's so far away, and now he's in a, in the same city, and I can I catch a train down there and go catch a game and see the greatest player play. Even though he was older, he was still killing. Averaging 20, getting 40s. You know, still good, looking good in the mid range. So, yeah, that was probably my, that was probably the most inspiring moment when he came to the Wizards. I have to bring you back to when I was a kid, you know, 17 years old, watching game six of the 98 NBA Finals against the Utah Jazz. Like, I remember all the plays. I remember Carl Malone yeah. on the left block actually going to work and then bringing a double team over, him kicking the ball out. John Stockton making a three. They're up three. Jordan comes down very quick on the right side of the floor, drives to the lane, gets to the rim, lays the ball in. They run the same play with the same kind of strategy where John Paxson runs to the opposite side, gives the ball to Carl Malone on the same block. Jordan comes from the baseline, weak side, strips the ball, brings the ball up the court. They clear out. Dennis Rodman literally goes across the court and the guy guarding Dennis Rodman didn't think for the last second to go double team that's Michael what Jordan, I, the greatest. That's what I be saying. That's what I be saying, bro. Like, what? It, it baffled me how they, they let Mike go one on one for that shot. Guarding Dennis Rodman didn't think for the last second to go double team Michael Jordan, the greatest player potentially of all time, to go double team him. And just Stephen A. Smith, that little drive to the right, that little nudge with the left hand, it wasn't even like a strong bar push off. It nah. was a little nudge for Byron Russell. Yeah. And you watch his momentum take him forward. And just watching Jordan stand there and hold that foul through in that moment to win that game. Game, the storybook ending of the greatest <laughs> potential career we've ever well, seen to play any sport and hold that that was a thing of I've never seen anything like that great, before in my life that was just conviction. but um favorite Michael Jordan moment I'm, this is just for my own personal sake I'm asking you this well you know I, I think I think the moment that means a lot to me was uh, the last game that we were on the floor together against Utah um, he was missing his shot and he was letting his hand go a little bit and I just said you know you gotta you gotta follow through on the shot and then I said you know listen we've got 30 some seconds nine seconds there's a timeout they're not gonna call a timeout we're, we're down by three this is what we're gonna run when you score when they come back they're gonna go to Carl come back and strip him. You can come back and strip him in this situation. You know the play. You know what they're going to do. They're going to cross pick and Hornacek's going to set it and see if you can't get the ball out of his hands. And he did it. And it was a great ah, steal. Hey. Anyway. Got it. I knew I knew that was an amazing play, but can we then feel? 
Phil just knew exactly what was going to go down. He said, they're not going to call a timeout. We're going to run this play. You're going to score. You're Michael Jordan. You're going to score. They're going to come back. They're going to go to Carmelo. Malone. They're going to run the cross screen. You're going to be able to come back on the baseline, strip them. And I feel like Phil just speaking of preaching the future. What He telling them exactly what's, how, how the game going to finish up. See if you can't get the ball out of his hands. And he did it. It was a great steal, and he went down, scored on the same play. But this time, he took a jump shot, and that that sequence was the culmination of you know minds that were working together. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and tell me if there were any Michael Jordan moments you forgot. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and show love to the YG gang. And I'm out. Definitely love watching these videos, hearing these stories about MJ. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? Subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon are all up top. You don't subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy Daniel. Out.